Hello, today we're going to go over our next writing in the margin strategy, clarifying. So our central question for using this strategy is how do I clarify, clarify what a text says to better understand it? Ultimately, your goal after completing this presentation is, and use the strategy, you can identify complex pieces of a text and develop a working understanding of their meaning. So what is clarifying? So clarifying is really a set of skills that you can use. So you already know how to explain things. You can reread. You're, you have plenty of um, experience solving, monitoring your thinking, refining, um, etc. So all of these things that we do to understand are kind of clarifying strategies. Um, clarifying is really identifying complex ideas presented in the text. Um, it's clarifying ideas through a process of analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. So it's kind of like a cycle. So when you come across something confusing, you reread it, try to refine your thinking, maybe simplify it, and then evaluate if, did I really get this right? Do I really understand? Um, it's pausing, so it's stopping your reading to clarify different ideas in order to increase your understanding of the whole text um, or multiple ideas in a text. Why should you use it? Well, clarifying is a form of metacognition, so that's thinking about thinking. So as you're reading, um, you help yourself understand by moder monitoring what you are having trouble with. Um, it kind of goes along with this quote that true wisdom is knowing what you don't know. So instead of just skimming over that part that you are a little bit confused about, you go back, reread, look for context clues to get a deeper understanding. Um, it's a reading strategy that allows you to be a more critical thinker. So we talked about that a little bit, um, but especially when you're confused with a text, it allows you to problem solve until you're not confused anymore. So there are four steps to clarifying thinking. First, you need to identify when you're actually confused. So this happens when you have ideas like, uh, I don't understand this in a text, or oh, this word is confusing. Um, so that's the first step, identifying, and that just happens in your head as you think. Step two, you want to highlight the word or section or phrase, um, the part of the text that's confusing to you, and try to see if you can find a context clue. Um, so you might have heard of context clues before, but really there's clues in the text that might help you understand. So I've identified, I've highlighted the section that I am confused about. Now I need to use one of these strategies. So I could reread the text. I could simply, I could simply define the word or phrase that I'm not familiar with. I could simplify what I'm reading and try to paraphrase it or summarize it into less words. Or I could try to make a connection to the outside world. Um, step four is after I've reread and or simplified, I kind of have a new understanding of what I initially was confused about. So now I'm going to make a clarifying statement. So I'm going to say something like, okay, another way to say this is blank. Based on the clues, I think this means blank. Or, okay, now that I've clarified, this mainly is about blank. Um, so let's get started. Let's use this strategy and use these four steps to clarify things that are confusing. 